Alright guys, this is the uh, fourth week update on my food plot. As you can see in the background behind me, uh, it is growing but it's struggling. Uh, I'm not impressed with it right now. Uh, it's got basically a lot of dead spots. Not, I ain't going to say dead spots, just empty spots. Uh, as you can see, uh, it is growing but it's not growing as well as I would like it to be on the fourth week. Uh, I don't know what's the problem with it. Uh, you can see it's just real thin here in the middle. And spots like that, there's just really not much in it growing. Uh, I think a lot of it has to do with... Uh, this time I let... I wanted the guy spread the seeds with his uh, spread on the back of his uh, four-wheeler. And normally, I use a uh, hand spreader to spread these seeds. And that way I know I get a lot of good coverage. And as I walk around, I can see where I'm uh, putting the seeds. So, I think this time, it's not as thick as I would normally put seeds out so uh, what I'm gonna do today is I got some uh, nitrogen I want to put out and I got some leftover seeds that I had from uh, from when I did the food plot and I'm gonna go ahead and and spread those seeds out some more cuz this food plot should be way ahead of where it's at right now because we have had like especially like this past week we had like three to four days of rain it just rained yesterday so this should be way higher than it is uh back here in the back you can see it's it's growing real decently back in the back thick wise uh especially on this hill here just in this middle area here But out here, like this spot, is almost nothing growing in it. Almost nothing. And as you can know, my food plot will grow some good stuff. Uh, especially from last year. Last year was the best food plot I had so far. But now, it's not doing that well. So... Let's go up here, I'll show you what I got, and see if we can uh, help this food plot out some. Uh, like I said, it just rained yesterday, it looked like it's going to rain today, but I don't think it will be. And uh, let's see if we can help it out. Alright, what I have here is uh, the winter green that I put on this food plot, and I probably got about that much left in this bag and I have some uh, a whole bag of clover so I'm gonna mix that in my hand spreader and overseed a lot of those spots that doesn't really have much growing in them then I got this uh, this nitrogen this is 3400 I got three bags of that uh, I'm gonna put two bags on my food plot here and I'm going to save one bag to put on the uh, pear tree food plot. Uh, and I'm going to spread that out with my, just my, you know, just a bigger hand spreader before I don't run over it with the four-wheeler. You know, if I had uh, the pull behind spreader, I would just be running back over and, and damaging in the plants that's out there right now. So I'm going to take the time to use the hand spreader on that. But first, we're going to go ahead and, and start with uh, overseeing some of these areas.
Like I said, all I just want to do is just mix these in here pretty good for. I won't put too much of one thing and heavy in one spot. All right, let's see if we can go save this food plot. Well, that's all I got to say about that. And that's all I have to say about that. Uh, that's all I could do. I mean, if I got to get some more seeds, I'll get some. But uh, I think it's, like I said, those seeds got in some of these good spots that didn't have anything. So we're going to go ahead and move to this uh, nitrogen. Uh, that nitrogen should give it a good kick. Hopefully to get it to boost on up and come on out, out the ground and get some height on it. So... Uh, like I said, the ground is good and wet, so we don't have any, we shouldn't have any problem about those seeds germinating. And hopefully, uh, this nitrogen will start dissolving because the ground is wet. I don't know when the next time it's going to rain, but I'm here now, and this is about the only time I can get down here uh, to get it out. So uh, let's go ahead and get it out, and we we'll just hope for the best, cause. I can't control Mother Nature and uh, I don't know her number. She won't call me back. So uh, I'm at a loss for words right now because I just want this food block to be a lot better. Uh, when we go up to the pear tree, the pear tree is going better than this. And, and I know that shouldn't be right. So let's keep moving. We got the, the front half in the middle. I'm gonna go do the back half 
Uh, that was one bag right there. Uh, I'm gonna hit the back pretty good since it's growing decently. And uh, I might take the other half and go back over this. Uh, then we're gonna go up to the uh, pear tree and do the same thing. Uh, I'm not gonna bore you anymore by uh, seeing me put out this nitrogen, so I'll meet you back up at the uh, pear tree. All right, guys, now we're up here on the uh, pear tree food plot. As you can see in the background, it is growing quite well. And uh, it's growing better than my food plot, which is kind of ridiculous, but that's what's going on. Uh, you can see that everything is uh, going on probably about three, four, five inches, depending on where you look at. And it's coming in kind of thick, which, you know, is always a good thing, even special up there on the top. I mean, I was worried about this food plot, but uh, looked like this is the better one of the two. Uh, and this, uh, this area right here, I threw out some of that um, winter greens that I had down there on my food plot. And it looked like it's taking off pretty good here. I just wanted to see what it would do. And as you can see, it's way taller than my food plot. Let me take you off this tripod so you can get a closer look. Like this plant right here. That's every bit of six inches. And that whole little group right there is probably four, four, four to five inches. And if you look out through there, I mean, it looks real nice. I think that uh, nitrogen would do this food plot way better. I mean, it probably, I ain't even gonna speculate, but it's gonna really jump when it put this nitrogen on it. So let's go ahead and get that out and for we'll be done for the day. We got all that uh, nitrogen spread it out and the reason I'm going so slow that that spreader doesn't spread well the the nitrogen doesn't come through there fast enough like a, you was using a, a big spreader so and those bags was lasting a long time so I was trying to go slow as I can to get much out of it before I have to come back and you know just just trying to save time put it that way but we got that out and one thing I want to show you about this food plot uh, I mentioned it before probably a year ago when I was working on it but this food plot is a smorgasbord of food uh, you might not see it just just by looking around but uh, let me show you one thing here on this tree right here that big tree is a uh, What you call that tree? Um, dang, I forgot the name of the tree. <laughs> um, uh, dang, what's the name of the tree? I, I'm sitting there looking at them. You guys are sitting there looking at them too. Uh, persimmon, there you go. That persimmon tree is loaded. I don't know if you guys ever seen a persimmon tree that tall. But that tree's got to be every bit of 40 feet, 35, 40 feet tall. And it's loaded with persimmons. And we got, you know, just persimmons on the, on the ground. 
I don't know why these deers over here are not killing them yet, but uh, so we got the persimmon tree, and as you know, that big tree right here in the back is a uh, pear tree, and it produced hundreds and hundreds of pears, and I planted four more pear trees, and uh, which two of them producing pears. And we even got white oaks over here on the side here. I've seen the deers eating it this morning. So, I mean, it's everything you would actually want on a food plot. And it's probably a couple things I haven't even seen. So, uh, it's a white oak over there, but I don't think it's got any, it's producing any acorns this time, this year. Uh, it's no telling what else is on the tree line there. I haven't located, but but like I said, it's that's four, one, two, three. That's three food sources. Then plus the food plot itself. That's you know four. So these deer should have a good time in this food plot. Um, like I said, I'm trying to do my part. To get this food plot to grow up so they can actually enjoy it so but all right all right guys that's gonna be it uh i didn't know i was gonna be sweating this much today and uh food plotting can be hard if you got to redo stuff so try to do it i'm learning now don't don't if your method worked the first time don't change it the second time the reason i changed it i was trying to hurry up and do it quicker quicker when I know I should have just put the seeds in my little hand spreader and spread it those seeds so I mean I, I really can't say that was the problem but that's one thing that I did differently from last year so all right guys so we're gonna be out of here thanks for watching make sure you subscribe if you haven't hit the like button and we out. Thanks for watching.